Good day everyone. Plane manufacturers Boeing and Airbus have released or have teased new aircrafts. We covered Airbus with the A321 XLR but now it's time to talk about Boeing. In the past time, Boeing has been falling behind compared to Airbus. Airbus were able to deliver more planes compared to Boeing and they were succeeding compared to Boeing, but will this new aircraft change everything? In 2024, Boeing are going to release the 737 MAX 10. This is a big difference compared to the 737. Let's talk about it. The first 737 was announced in the year of 1965. It was called the 737-100. There was an initial order of 10 from Lufthansa. The build for the 737-100 started in summer of 1966. A total of 30 were ordered. After the legacy of the 737-100, in the year of 1968 the 737-200 was announced which is the same as the 100 but with an extended fuselage and it carried on. The 737 was very popular with different airlines. As seen on the screen, loads of airlines use these planes. The 737 was very popular because the running costs were lower meaning that they were cheaper to operate. According to sources, it costs $8,000 per hour to operate the 737 and to operate the A320, it would cost $9,000. As the running cost for the 737 is lower, this means that they can save money and spend it on different things. This is the reason why low-cost carriers like the 737. Let's talk about the 737 MAX. These planes did not have a good start or history. They were known for crashes and incidents when it came to flying. This all started in the year of 2018 in Indonesia. The 737 MAX during this crash was being operated by Lion Air Flight 610. The plane was flying from Sokarno Hatta International Airport, which is located in Jakarta, to Dapati Amir Airport, Pangkal Penang in Indonesia. 13 minutes after taking off from the airport in Jakarta, it crashed in the Java Sea, killing all 189 passengers and crew. After these two terrible accidents, the 737 MAX airliner was grounded worldwide. Different airlines have started to operate the 737 MAXs now. Let's talk about this new plane that they are creating. According to Simple Flying, they believe that this will be a rival to Airbus's A321 XLR and the A321neo as well. The MAX may replace Boeing's 767. The range for the new aircraft has increased. The MAX 10 has an additional 400 nautical miles on the range. For this video, we are going to compare the MAX 10 to the A321neo. Boeing are using the same seats that Airbus use for their A321neo. However, the MAX 10 beats Airbus when it comes to trip cost and operating cost per seat. It is 5% lower compared to the A321neo, which means it's more efficient compared to the A321neo. The new Boeing aircraft has more seats compared to their previous generations. The 737 MAX 8 has a range of 162 to 178 seats. However, the MAX 10 has a range of 188 to 204 seats. To improve landings, the aircraft has a longer fuselage in order to avoid a tail strike. However, Airbus has beaten Boeing when it comes to price. The new Boeing aircraft is going to cost $134.9 billion. The Airbus A321neo costs $129 billion. Boeing have received orders for the plane. Recently, Boeing have got into some issues with the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. The two key changes involve an additional angle of attack measuring system and a stall warning silencing switch to enhance the plane's safety. There have been discussions from U.S. lawmakers about if the safety changes should be rolled out to in-service MAX 8 and MAX 9 aircraft in exchange for lifting a deadline on cockpit safety systems in the MAX 7 and MAX 10. Boeing has said it will make the two features available as an optional retrofit for customers. Due to the two accidents that we mentioned earlier, the EASA demanded that Boeing should add the two key safety features for the Boeing 737 MAX 10 which could then be retrofitted to the MAX 8 and MAX 9, and that's the end of this video, subscribe.